both creating a disc in Final Cut Pro X and adding chapter markers in Compressor. So here's my video, so I can scrub through it. You can see that. And let's hit the share thing up here to, to export it. So you have a um, few options to export it. Um, there's the DVD and Blu-ray, depending on what you want to do. Um, if you don't want to uh, do any of those and you want to do some advanced encoding, then you can just hit send to compressor and it'll just open in compressor. But I'm going to hit DVD. So this is how to do it without compressor. So it brings up this little drop down menu. You can say when the disk spins up what you want to do. You can add a background image. You can add a title which would be right there. Template black or white. Layers, I'm just leaving it on automatic. Your DVD burner. Either a DVD burner or your hard drive one or two. And then if you want to create a DVD in Final Cut, you can just hit burn. But if you want to add chapters, you need compressor. So go into advanced. So make all your changes that you want here, and you can change them later. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, that's all good. And then I'm just gonna hit send to compressor here. And what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna open a template for burning a DVD within compressor, and then it's just gonna load my file in, which makes it really easy. Okay, so here we go. Here's the. Here's what happens when you um, when it goes from Final Cut Pro directly into here, and this is what shows up when you don't go directly to Final Cut. So then you just hit Create DVD, and then you have to like drag in your Final Cut thing there, or you can choose one of these. But anyway, I'm just gonna close this one, and this is the one that we're dealing with. So here's my Final Cut Pro icon. Here's the here, and you'll see that there are two output things. This one, this one right here is for the sound only. So it'll be whatever dot AC3, and this one will be for the um, video only. Um, and if you'd like, you can get more advanced with it and you can add like surround sound and whatever but I'm just gonna leave it like that and you'll see there's a gearbox here which tells you what it's going to do after so if you set it up manually go into click the like the white part and then hit to the white part and then hit inspector if it doesn't come up with this already just give it a second And then you'll see you have all these same settings that you had before. If not, you can make them. So you have all those that you can change. But here you'll see you have a chapter menu as well. So what that allows you to do is in your video, which I can scroll through here quickly, if it'll let me. Bottom one seems to be fine for me. When you're ready, you just hit record. And and then you can. So that's a little bit of my. You can hit click to record full screen, drag to. So here's my project. So let's see if it'll. There we go. So here's the. Um, here's the video. As I scrub through, if it'll load. But anyway, that's not the point. That is the video. So here are your endpoints. In points is this one, end point is that one, so you don't have to do the whole clip if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna so put the put the little scrubber thingy wherever you want it and you can always like add it add the numbers manually if you like to go to a certain position. Then you just hit this icon right here, hit wherever you want it, hit add marker, it'll put like a little blue dot right there. So I'm gonna add another one here and another one here and another one 
here. Now these are not chapter markers yet. So if you hit the little, not the two arrows and a line, because that's fast forward, but this one's moved to next marker. So if you move back and then you hit edit, or hit command E, and you have to change the type to chapter, you can name it whatever you want. You can hit the image to be whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead, and then you'll see it turns purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all those video quickly. So there's all my chapters, so you can see there's... Run the video. Little frozen, but anyway. So it skips between chapters, you get the point. When you're done, you can simply hit submit. And then it will ask you where you want to save it. And um, you have to save it to your hard drive first. And then it will burn the DVD. So I'm going to hit, uh, that's fine. Cluster, just leave it on this computer unless you have a cluster and you know what that is. And then priority, high, medium, and low. I'm just going to hit high. Hit share, submit. And this thing pops up. This window and this window are exactly the same thing, so don't worry about them um, interfering. So now that it's done, it's going to prompt you to insert a disk. Uh, since I don't have one, I'm not going to do that, but basically it'll burn, it'll probably be a progress bar, and then it'll finish. And if, you're, if it doesn't prompt you to tell you that it's done, which it'll probably just tell you in the share monitor, then this ring slowly moves outwards, just like in the same pattern that it burns. So you can just follow that. So with that, I think that concludes my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.